you know, the problem with our modern society is that for the most part, we're whores. What do I, what do I mean by that, we're whores? What I mean simply is that we're easily bought and paid for. Politicians, farmers, anyone. I mean, I'm not just picking out those two. We're all, for the most part, whores. And ultimately, the worst whore of them all is the corporation. Or I should say, pimp. Because they buy themselves out of any problem. I mean, look at Enron. How many folks actually went to prison? Very few. Look at the the crash, which was bigger than Black Tuesday, right? Um, the 1930 stock market crash. How many people went to jail from? these hedge funds and Wall Street, the guys who basically were stealing and manipulating the system, um, all these banks who were behind the derivative scam and were even taking out insurance because they knew it was a bunch of crap. So even with the, with the, with the crash, these, some of these uh, hedge funds and stuff actually even made more money because they were created the product, they got it sold as a you know as, as a class A investment, meaning hey you cannot lose your money at it. And then finally, when it did crash because they knew it would finally burst because they had insured against it, they made money. We're whores were bought and paid for. And it's all, you know, our whole society has come down to one thing, and that is money, money, money. It's probably the single most harmful invention to humanity because we will do anything for it. We will destroy and piss on our only, you know, room that we live in for it. We will rape for it. And I may rape, I mean rape the earth, rape the trees, rape the fish, rape. We rape, 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 rape for it. And in our hubris, we are so... delude ourselves to the very fact that we are whores. When I say, it, you know, or delude our fact that we, that we aren't whores, right? That we aren't. We, we say, oh no, you know, oh, there's, we've taken 50% of the large fish out of the ocean. Ah, oh, well, you know, they'll grow back. 90% of the large fish are gone, people. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said it wrong. I said the large fish, oh, they'll, they'll matter. Um, you know, we, we systematically slaughter a creature which has a brain the size of ours that probably, in many respects, is so much ahead of us, and yet we take great pleasure in killing them for some stupid meat that ironically we poisoned because dolphin meat has so many chemicals in it. It's not safe to eat. Same with whale meat. You know, our ocean is our river and we have pissed it away. You know, it just goes on and on. And I realize now that and the only people who are going to be able to change things is you and I, right? But we have been in so indoctrinated that to trust our government 
to trust politicians to do the right thing. But what we did prove with not with um, the 99 percent in Wall Street that we can bring about change. <laughs> Excuse me. And you say what? 99 did no. Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street didn't bring about any change. Actually, it did. You're just not aware of it. It brought about crowdfunding. Um, because of the taking to the streets, they passed a bill. Well, they, they passed another bill, which wasn't the right bill, but that bill wouldn't have passed without maybe, I don't know, actually probably would because it actually just allows the 1% to make more money. If you really look at the bill and understand it. Well, we wanted 2930, HR 2930, Access to Capital Act. Kind of like, oh well, we kind of rolled this in with that one. And I don't think it's, I think it's just, it's been forgotten, it seems like. The bill that 97% of the House of Representatives supported and passed has just been marginalized and forgotten, right? That is probably it would have one of the most important bills to have passed the House, and yet the Senate was, has successfully basically had you forget about it and had all the focus focused on this Jobs Act, which really allows corporations to lie, cheat, and steal more, kind of like the derivative law it is. So, you know, we have to do it ourselves, ultimately. And um, if we're to bring about the change we want, if we can bring about the change we want, in a way it's a bit like education. Um, we think, oh, well, the state's responsible for the education of our children. Well, that's only a new phenomenon that's only come about in the last, within the last hundred years, okay? Prior to that, it always was our responsibility as a family to educate our children. Not to leave it up to the schools to do it. And we're thinking now the same way that we'll leave it up to the politicians to fix things. Well, you know, in the 1970s, a researcher at MIT figured out that this growth that we have, and I've done talk on it based on this exponential, exponential function, this mathematical function, which really isn't that hard, which basically says that something like a 3% annual growth rate, right? It's just not sustainable. It's not sustainable in a finite right world. Because over the course of its period, at some point, it's, something's going to happen to that exponential function in a finite planet. Because you can't have exponential growth. So, and there's lots of talks. So if you go to, you know, Found Ups TV channel, you can like listen to this seven-year-old professor talk about it. He has great illustrations on it. Um, check out the playlist on there. But ultimately, um, you know, because of this delusion of, hey, we've got to have this constant continual growth, We're ultimately destroying our planet because ultimately we can't have a continued steady growth. It's impossible. So the sooner we realize that, say, you know what, let's shoot for something and then maintain that. How can we maintain that? There's no investment. There's no money to be made out of that. We can't be whores to that. There's no, you know, being sustainable is, um, it 
means taking significantly less profits. And ultimately, if you're a whore, you don't want to do that. So, my solution is you, if you're watching this, get off your easy chair, which you won't do, and start making a difference. You know, well, from your easy chair, you can share this video, share my other talks. It's pesticide stupid, I think. I pretty much nailed it out. If that doesn't make sense to you, then it's the neurotoxins affecting you. But ultimately, if we are to make a difference, we gotta stop being whores.